Hey everybody, I'm APH and welcome back to Kingdoms Reborn. Pretty excited about this playthrough and some of what we didn't talk about in the first episode is kind of the goal of this series. Now, trade is going to be a big thing and it's going to be a big thing through probably a good chunk of the playthrough. The main goal of this playthrough is to see how big we can go. Things like colony, something that I typically try not to do and expanding all the way to the borders and maybe even doing some things with doing like maybe a three to four thousand person playthrough is kind of on the agenda for this playthrough with what we did in the last episode we got our beer brewing our people really want to relax a little bit they kind of want us to get into beer brewing so i'm gonna go ahead and do that right off the bat here we're gonna throw that boil right there and into this we do need to do the orange cider all of our brewers probably for the majority of the game are probably going to be on orange cider until we get into something like maybe pumpkins for now that's the go too and with that let's expand out our road system a little bit kind of down this way because i do want them to be able to move around pretty good and we'll do another road over here now money is a big concern since well we have to buy some more territory 1600 for this territory this one up here is nearly 4k this one's 3k this one which leads into the mountain areas where we're going to get some of our coal and some of our iron is also pretty expensive so that's a big concern and then for our technology we're gonna get into the middle age in this episode let's go ahead and stop on that for the moment so what we're gonna be doing is we need sheep ranching in order to get to logistics eventually it's gonna be a hike and then we need pottery and basic tools in order to get blacksmith so I'm gonna start with basic tools and then move into pottery uh, we just got a wild card which is kind of what we're looking for and then we have some notifications that we're out of tools thankfully we've got a lot of oranges so that should should carry us for a while for tools i'm gonna go ahead and pick up we'll go with 40 for now it's gonna kill a lot of our money and then we're just gonna sell off probably a good chunk of those oranges just to get a little bit of money back doesn't do a whole lot for us and we can't really upgrade this one of the the big things that i want to get to is auto trading so that we don't have to worry about continuously doing trades for tools i can just set up the shipping and receiving whatever that building is the trade company to do it and just like that we got our first level three house that's exciting more research more money that's always a good thing and we're doing it through brewing up beer now we could get the improved malting we can't get the fast malting quite yet we need a few more stones and now that we're in the middle of winter hopefully they'll come over and get this patch over here coal i think it's going to be a pretty big issue fairly soon here with this we could probably get another coal burner maybe what we do is place a coal burner over here here with our beer brewer and then we place some storage to kind of go with it so we'll do a four by six right here this one will be for beer and then we'll do a four by six right here this one will be for coal and at this point in time i think i'm just setting up for replacing these with barns in the future barns are really the way to go i guess it's called warehouses we are a little bit over our housing cap but we are upgrading our houses now now let's wait on technology for just a second let's take those immigrants in that passion book let's get the the fast malting and let's drop the passion book into the beer brewer to try to get a little bit more productivity there this pig ranch would be good so let's grab this territory and let's drop the pig ranch here we started the summer kind of lackluster for people or for food that should recover fairly soon here and i don't want to lose too many more people but i also don't want to expand so fast that we kind of burn out so i'm going to add another house there labors are a little bit low they should be roughly 20% if not 30% of our people let's boost this up to three for now and then as soon as we get a couple more we'll go ahead and boost it up a little further I do want the conservation and the productivity and the, the guild those are huge so as soon as we get another 600 we'll go ahead and drop that in there and that should get us a little bit closer to being stable 500 coal should be good that should allow us to push people into other jobs at least during the off season in there and yeah we've got a notification not enough money we are broke we are broke as a dope here we should look at going ahead and getting our pottery and that's going to hit right away and with that let's get sheep branching
branching. Now, sheep branching will be good. I don't want the potter. I don't want the clay pit. That's a, something that we can get down the road. And food is going to be an issue since this area is slowly expanding. So let's get another fruit gatherer right there. And now we should start looking at doing some hunters just to boost that area. I also think I want to get the, this forester back up and going. I just need more people. That's like the common goal and the common theme in this is I need more people. Since we've got the laborers, I'm going to go ahead and bump this up just a touch. And it looks like we've got a few more. So let's go ahead and bump that up a little higher. And then with that, we should be able to activate this. I think houses is the next concern. Maybe expanding out the, the beer brewing a little bit further. And we definitely need more tools. But with that, we need more food too. We're in kind of rough shape. Let's do... Let's sell a hundred of our medical in order to get some fools. This should kind of keep us a, a afloat here. And that, that's is the fee on that is atrocious. So what is the trade fee here? Cause that fee should not be that high. It's buy a couple of tools. And I'm not sure what that fee is, but I think we're gonna have to do some looking over here. It looks like, you know, they've done a little bit of a revamp. So we're gonna have to get trade relations fairly quickly. Usually that's kind of the go-to a little bit later on. I don't think that we need the sheep ranch for now and we got the companies act. I'm going to drop this in the town hall, but it's something that I really don't think we're going to use, but it's effects for every trading company. It's minus 2%. So I don't think this is affected by that, but we can take a look. Let's dismiss that for a second. So it looks like a uh, trade fee is 35%. That's absolutely insane. We've got a a little bit of room for more people. It looks like we lost a few people during the winter, so that was a rough one. We'll take that passion book and that can go. Oh, I think that that needs to go in one of these fruit gathers. We probably lost some people due to expanding a little too quickly, so we should get them back this year. We're still kind of sitting OK. We're rough on medicine, but that's because I sold it. Yeah, this is going to be a rough playthrough, probably for the first like 10 to 15 years. This is going to be really, really rough. We need to get a statistic statistics bureau down not the statistics we need to get the employment bureau down soon ish let's clear this area right here and then we'll put that boy down i don't like placing it down right away because it insta builds in anything underneath that just gets destroyed and that's some feature that i would really like to see changed in the future we need to get tools so let's go ahead and do a trade for let's do 30 tools it looks like we've got enough for that so with this i'm gonna go ahead and throw another house over here and that should at least let us expand a little bit. Our tools are just about to get here. So let's go ahead and boost that. Food is being a huge issue. I was thinking with adding the extra pig range. Granted, it's not quite ready yet. And adding the extra fruit gather, I thought we'd be in good shape. Uh, we are starting to get our flowers in for the year. And it looks like we're starting to get our medicine in for the year. So we're, we're OK. I think we're going to make it another year. And then we can start expanding down this way with probably some more. I don't want to do too many more pig ranches. Eventually, the laborers kind of get wonky with ranches, whether they're cattle, whether they're sheep, whether they're pig. The more you have, it seems like the more laborers get kind of goofy with them. So I don't want to get too much bigger with them. We've got room for eight more people. So we're going to hold out for now. Let's get the insulation in the remaining three houses to make that coal go a little bit further. And this area looks like it's set. So let's get the employment bureau throw it right there. Now with this, I want to start moving some things around one i want to move the forester down to the absolute bottom that can be the last that way we can keep the beer brewer up and going and kind of make sure that we have some drinks available and i've never noticed that it has the global uh, labors and builders up here so that's kind of cool i think that's something new that they might have added that or i just never noticed it probably the latter i probably just never noticed it we're about a week away from halloween and i don't know what we're dressing up our son as this year so if you guys are you know celebrating halloween Halloween and that's something that you guys do let me know down in the comments you know what you guys plan on maybe dressing up as is a lot of people have a lot of fun with it I just totally built that road in the wrong spot there let's go ahead and get rid of that little section and then some other big news is Cosmeteers is coming out tomorrow as well it might be today for you depending on when you're watching this video but the developers have sent over a key for me so I'll be doing some Cosmeteer kind of stuff in the next day. I'm under NDA until then. So even though I have the key, I'm not able to show anything until the 24th. But as I said, you guys might be seeing this the day that the game goes 
life. Let's go ahead and grab those immigrants. Let's grab that passion book. Let's drop the passion book into the, the pig ranch there. And then I guess we got to buy some more tools and we'll just go with another 40. That will at least get us enough to upgrade. Not that. Let's speed boost that. That will at least get us enough to upgrade the fruit gathers. We need to get a hunter over here. Yeah, let's grab a hunter. So the reason that we get a hunter is you can see it's at 115, pretty much, or 120, depending on which one. This one's 135 because of passion. But if we get a hunter, we don't even have to build it. This is kind of a little bit of an exploiting mechanic, but we're going to build it anyways. As soon as we get it, it bumps it up to 165, and that's because of the pest trap. So each one of these gets a big boost just by having that nearby. We'll throw that in there. This one's already upgraded. I wonder why this one is... Oh, I, I threw a passion book in here. <laughs> I'm having one of those uh, moments where I'm like, why? And, and the answer is quite simple. Uh, we're at our housing cap again, which is good. And that means that we need to expand just a touch further. Now this expansion, I like to do some spacing that is about that size. I don't build these houses in the middle. In a lot of houses, I will build off camera just because I build kind of on a grid system. So I think it gets a little bit repetitive. For anybody who joined in for the first time, I build my house this kind of in a set pattern. After we get to the markets, you'll kind of see how it kind of plays out where we've got a library kind of in here, we've got a market in here, it kind of services this area. In total, there'll be 16 houses and then we build around it kind of like it's a little tiny hub. We build little hubs everywhere. We will need a forester relatively quickly. We also need more coal by the looks of it. Granted, some of the coal issues, we don't have enough people and hopefully adding another house will take care of that. These guys. So the goal last episode was to have 200 fruit trees within range of these. And if we take a look, we're we're getting close. But that means that we have to have the forester kind of running nonstop. And with that, we probably want to start getting another batch of fruit gather. So we'll start wrapping in this area down here. And we are having some houses downgrading probably because they're lacking beer. And that's because we're lacking on the oranges. But going into winter, we are short on tools. We'll go ahead and grab a few more of those. We're going into winter and we have a little bit of food and this pig ranch is finally ready. Yes, with this, we, we need to look at next spring producing a little bit more food. So we'll get these two fruit gatherers over here and then we're going to look at doing probably another hunter over here with it. And we'll have to do some storage. We'll do four by six. Because again, we're getting ready for warehouses. That's pretty imperative. And coal is just lacking. Man, it's right after the pig ranch. So there's nothing much I can do except for send the hunter right to the bottom. So I'm not too concerned about the hunter. That should give us two more people to kind of utilize in there. More immigrants will be good because that will allow us to kind of keep these up and going. Let's get them upgraded. And we're going to have to get a hunter over here. So we'll take them. We'll grab that passion book. I love me the passion book and we'll throw them right in that pig ranch. Now, once we get to the middle age, which we only need one more, there's a few V line things that we want to do. Uh, logistics for the warehouse. We want medicine because that is way more productive than the farms. We want the trade company so we don't have to buy and sell tools. And then over here, we probably should start working on ranching and farming technology slowly. And I was thinking that we had the option to do adjacency. Uh, so we've got housing adjacency up here which is pretty massive building combo that's the one i was thinking of so with this you get a pretty big bonus by having multiple of the same building and a lot of times we can get things like the fruit gathers up well over three four hundred percent by having building combo so that's something i want to look at let's grab another hunter and we'll throw that bad boy over here let's spin that around we'll go right there i do need another fruit gather for over there fruit looks like it's in okay shape and i do mean okay Okay. And tools are still a little low, so I'm going to go ahead and grab a few more. I don't think we're good to sell food quite yet. I just want to keep the tools above water until we hit the middle age. And I want a forester over here for in the winter. I'm going to hold out for a minute. I'm, I'm going to hold out. But maybe one more house over here to make sure that we have enough people. That will get us the 10. That will get us into the middle age. And I just want to make sure that we have pretty much everything that we need. So it looks like we need mushroom sterilization. So we'll grab that. It instantly popped because we had enough 
banked technology, which is always a fun thing. And then in the upgrade tree, beer tax gets us money from beer. Now we do have enough beer to make this worthwhile. So I think we're going to go ahead and grab that. Let's go ahead and close that out. And then we're going to save for the middle age. We throw the beer tax in there. Gets us like, what is that? Another 30? So that's good. So as soon as we start really expanding our beer industry, we'll start getting our money in good shape. That way we can do some major expanding. And it looks like we have some beer in stock at the moment. That's really good. All right. So we're, we're in winter and we have 15 people kind of sitting around. Mushrooms is something I want to do eventually. And I'm not sure where I want to place them. I also want to expand out our fruit just a little bit. I'm going to grab one more fruit gatherer over here. And then we need to start working on trimming the trees over here. Otherwise, we're going to run into some pretty big issues. So let's go ahead and grab that forester. And we're going to do the same thing with this boil where we set this over to just planting fruit trees and just cutting non-fruit trees. Because again, we just want to clear out this area. We're okay on people, which means we can take our immigrants. And we're okay on food going into the spring. We just now need a little bit of tools to go with that. So we'll grab those. And that should at least get us one more year. With the extra house there, I think we just have to... No, we just, we've just we got them all. We're ready for the middle age. Yes, sir. I do want to immediately kind of beeline for the combo. Now, agriculturalist is good. 10% from farm productivity if they're within range of granary, which we're always going to be placing our farms within range of granary. And then geologist, which is mines deplete slower. These are kind of moot things and they get outclassed really quick here, but I guess I'm going to take agriculturalist. And then for this, these are really tough things. Craftsman, which is blacksmith and pottery, 20%. Again, these get outclassed pretty easily. This is one productivity card. So these do get outclassed or alcohol appreciation. I think this is going to serve us better seeing that we already have alcohol up and going. We're going to take that and they, we unlock the ability to get wild cards. Speaking of productivity, let's grab that. Another passion book. Absolutely. Let's throw the passion book in the beer brewer since we're running into issues with that. I think coal was okay. So we're going to throw the uh, productivity book into the fruit gather. In the previous build of the game, you could get, I think it was a school early on which made cards and it doesn't look like you get that anymore because it was paper production and then you'd get I maybe it's like a scholar's office yeah so this right here allows us to produce cards so we do want to get there eventually my guess is that is going to be probably a few cycles down we've got no extra labor so we've got to expand just a touch further but now we're good on food that's really good now that we're good on food everything should go a little bit smoother so we'll grab a house there a house there to kind of expand out our population and it looks like now that everything's kind of stabilizing it looks like medicine's in a little bit better shape i want to make sure that uh, medicine stays in a good shape so we're going to go ahead and throw in another look at that fertility there that is insane we're going to throw another farm there for herbal i think that's the only thing we can build i forgot about cotton that'd be good for clothes but i mean we're nowhere near closed with this let's get the library kind of first because that will lead to the trade company and that will allow us to kind of keep our tools in stock without really worrying about it so talking about that let's grab another 50 yeah 50 is fine and then we'll speed boost that and we've got a little bit of money yes please absolutely there so these houses are getting built we've got a little bit of stone as soon as this one built i'm gonna go ahead and do the insulation that way we don't have as much coal usage i did that a little prematurely let's go ahead and speed boost this and then this farm it looks like probably won't be done in time for the spring. I really probably could have did an extra builder in the winter and I guess we'll we'll do an extra builder anyways just to kind of amplify things a little bit quicker. This area Pass traps are cheap. Let's go ahead and do the pass traps and then the delicate harvest. We'll do that. Uh, it looks like we only needed in two of them and that should at least get us a little bit more food for this year. And look at that. We're almost through the winter. We still have our oranges. Uh, we're out of medicine. That's a little bit concerning. So we, we're going to have to do a little speed boost here and maybe make this the priority. And just like that, they finished. So hopefully they'll get that up and going this year. We still are lacking labors. So I don't know where we're missing people 
from let's uh, go ahead and hit the priority button and it looks like we are missing it from the foresters that's the preference because that means that they're going to be chewing on all those non-fruit trees with that we'll be able to do some some other building we'll take the immigrants since we have a lot of housing capacity let's go ahead and grab let's start piling up the motivation books because this is one percent for everything over 60 so it's 17 right now but that's only going to get better over time let's go ahead and go to the tech tree we'll absolutely do the trade comp in order to kind of move forward there uh library yes we'll take that and we'll go ahead and throw that boil right there and then for the motivation i'm gonna start piling them up in these fruit gathers doesn't do a whole lot now but when we're at 120 percent for our happiness it's gonna be sick all right tools i guess we gotta grab another let's do 60 since we've got a little bit of money and do we have a territory that we can claim cheap and we've got enough influence that we can claim some. So let's grab this one right here that has coal and we'll start heading that way. And then this one, it looks like we just got enough money to claim that. So we'll claim that one as well. And then we're going to have to start doing some houses up this way in order to start the movement. Look at that. Look at all that food. That is absolutely sick. And we're starting to get notifications that we are full on our storage, which is absolutely amaze. So we now let's activate those before I forget about them. Now we just need to start expanding out kind of our houses and our coal production and all that stuff and things. We'll follow this road. Let's do a road this way and that will be the center of our town up here. Uh, we'll start our housing district right here. Let's get four more houses in order to start pushing this way. That way we can pick up these territories. I think it was this one right here that has iron and stone. So we'll probably in the next episode probably get into blacksmithing. At least I hope we will. With this, I think we're going to need a food source like relatively quickly. We're either going to have to get influence, which we're accumulating now, or we're going to have to get this area unlocked. I, I don't really think, as I said, like all this pork on the ground tells me we're not picking up things quick enough and storage looks like it's fairly full so we'll do a few more storage yards in here in order to store all this stuff yeah once we get to warehouses i think a lot of the issues with storage will kind of correct itself medicine we're going into the winter with a little bit we're still a little lackluster on the tools in this area wow like we'll take a look at it in the spring but seeing the change in how much is thinned out from that forester is absolutely insane and then we've got 1100 wood i don't think we want 1100 wood so i'm gonna go ahead and cap it at a thousand with this it looks like beer we are starting to produce more than what we're consuming which means we are just gotta fill up all the houses but i think up in this territory up here we want another brewer what we'll do is let's hide those trees for a second we'll do a storage right there a storage right here those will be warehouses in the future and then right here we'll leave a space for a road we'll get another brewer there that will get us another uh, bit of brewery again we're just going to set this over to orange beer and then we're going to get a charcoal brewer, uh i was going to say a charcoal brewer we'll get a charcoal burner right there kind of to expand that area it looks like we just finished up our tech for trading and that could get us into either iron working or brick working to get to the blacksmith or we could start working on agricultural revolution in order to get to logistics let's make sure over in the upgrade tree that there's nothing that we really want yeah let's go for trade relations to make our trade a little bit better uh the trade company yes we want to buy that and we'll take the immigrants we'll take that passion book absolutely take passion book that's amazing so let's go ahead and fill up uh, one of these with passion i think we take that productivity replace it with passion and then we throw the productivity over here in the fruit gather guess i don't need to be hiding the trees anymore and let's go ahead and trade for some more tools don't think we need quite that many maybe we'll go with 70 and then we'll get the trade company over here on that as soon as that gets built then we don't have to worry about it maybe we'll start selling off some of these oranges since that we have a metric ton of them we do have a lot of labors kind of standing around in more midsummer but we also expanded you know what let's cap it at nine i think that would be a pretty good thing to make sure that we don't run into issues and then we need to look at more luxuries so i guess at this point in time our people would like some furniture i mean who wouldn't like to sit 
sit down and eat their dinner. So not everybody likes to stand up and, and eat. Uh, I'm probably one of the few weirdos who will throw a furniture place over there. That will start to build out the industry in this area. Ooh, we're going to have to trade for some stones or place a quarry. I think we just go ahead and trade for stone. So we'll pick up, I don't know, let's pick up 110. Seems like a good thing. And then we'll start getting the trade. The nice thing about this is this will give us housing adjacency as well. And I think that will be huge for getting us a little bit more money. Look at that. We're at 460. Um, I believe this is a month. Now, 70 from the beer tax is huge. And then the territory income is kind of going with it. Now we're going to auto import tools. This way we don't have to worry about that anymore. And you guys don't have to see me kind of mess around with it. We'll go for 100 and then we'll bring in, I think, 20, maybe 30 at a time. So that's pretty expensive, but at least it will have us tools at any given time. And then we don't have to mess with it. And we'll have to expand that out. Uh, it looks like we can do a maximum of 120 per round. So yeah, it's it's expensive, but I mean, it, it gets the job done. Let's get the fast malting and the improved malting. And we're ready to start getting bricks so we can move into the, the middle age and really start expanding out here. Let's uh, buy some, or let's buy some coal. Let's expand up our coal just a touch. And I think we're going to start bringing in bricks to go with it. Like if we look at the brickyard, one, we'd have to get clay up and going, which we don't have. The other is, I think it takes like seven people and it burns coal. So it's just a lot of money that we just don't have right now. And then beer is starting to add up. So I think I'm going to go ahead and export. So we're going to export some beer. Target inventory. I think I'm going to set the target inventory of 100. That way anything over, they'll sell off. And auto fail trade because negative money will take the immigrants. Even more money and we'll take another motivation book. Absolutely. They are smiling and I think it's time that we we really start smiling. So we'll throw that product or the motivation in there. Uh, only gets a 16 because we dropped a little. That's a little bit of a shame, but we'll get that back in time. And we've got plenty of room for more people. So I'm not too worried about that. But what I am worried about is probably getting some more farms for some more medicine as we move forward here. This area is still a little too expensive. I guess we throw a farm over here. Maybe we do two of them while wow, this area is really bad. That will improve in the future. Farms are one of those weird things where you don't really need the huge productivity for them to work good. And it looks like they're already both set over to medical herbs. So that's good. Uh, beer just hit 100. So we're going to start selling off our beer. And I guess we could. Let's go ahead and speed boost both of those beer production. Get a little bit more money since we're running in the negative right now. Keeping the tools on the plate, man. That is expensive. But I think this is a good spot to call this. I mean, we're year 13. We expanded out our town. I mean, we're 69 people. That's twice what we had before. And we're we're surviving without losing people. So I think we're in good shape. So thank you guys for joining. And we'll see you in the next one.